Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've taken a brief break from YouTube since it is my senior year, but now I'm back. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Windows 12. Microsoft has traditionally released new versions of Windows every three years with the exception of Windows Vista. After Windows 10 was released, many people theorized that Microsoft would stop releasing new versions of Windows and they would just keep updating Windows 10, similar to Mac OS. Alas, these rumors were rendered false with leaks for an upcoming Windows 11 in the spring of 2021. Now that Windows 12 is set to be released later this year, it seems that Microsoft is back on their three-year release schedule. Despite Windows 12's imminent release, about 67% of computer users are still reported to be using Windows 10 as of today. This is quite alarming, as Windows 10 is less is almost a year and a half away from losing support. Now, the logical solution to this dilemma would be to upgrade to Windows 11, but with Windows 12 just months away from release, this begs the question, is it better to upgrade to Windows 11 now, or wait a few months and get the brand new version of Windows? In this video, we're going to be looking at various aspects of Windows 12, from new features to system requirements to pricing, and we're going to determine whether or not Windows 10 users should upgrade to Windows 11 now or wait for a few months and get the brand new Windows 12 release. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with what to expect from Windows 12. So over the past few years, Microsoft has invested heavily into the development of AI, especially in its Windows operating systems. And so far, this has come to fruition with the added feature of Copilot in Windows 11. According to Zach Bowden, Microsoft is working on an advanced Copilot, which, which is supposed to enhance the Windows 12 experience in many ways. For example, this advanced co-pilot will be able to convert 2D images into 3D and it will be able to enhance the quality of videos and games. In addition, this AI will be able to keep tabs on the various activities you do on the computer and archive them into memories. This is quite reminiscent of the time machine feature on a Mac, albeit a, very, a more advanced form of it with the addition of AI. Overall, AI is expected to play a major role in the Windows 12 experience. The addition of AI as an integral part of the Windows 12 experience is quite ambitious on Microsoft's part, but how will it affect system requirements? When Windows 11 was released, a significant amount of Windows 10 users were not eligible to upgrade due to insufficient system specifications. Whilst this decision for Microsoft was quite alienating for such users, it may not have been the worst decision given the disastrous release of Windows Vista. With Windows 12 and its heavy a amount of AI features, the system requirements will most certainly go up. According to Zach Bowden, there are rumors that Microsoft will increase the system requirements from 4 to 8 gigabytes. From his analysis, he predicts that many of these new AI features will be limited to more powerful and newer PCs. Whilst computers and technology are getting more and more advanced every year, many people and businesses still use old and outdated technology. This comes for many reasons, including a fear of losing data. Heck, the US military still uses Windows XP. With Windows 10 less than two years away from losing support and Windows 11's high system requirements, many Windows 10 users are left in a bad spot. Fear not. According to My Inc. Parmer at Windows Latest, Microsoft is supposedly working on a lightweight version of Windows 12 that will be heavily web-based. This Windows 12 Lite, as I will call it, will be tailored to lightweight devices such as tablets and cheap laptops. In my opinion though, whilst this Windows 12 Lite has a lot of potential, it most likely will not be overtaking Google's Chrome OS due to their vast market share at least not for the foreseeable future. In terms of pricing, it looks like Windows 12 will be a free upgrade for Windows 11 users. As for Windows 10 users, whether or not Microsoft chooses to make Windows 12 a free upgrade is uncertain. As for everyone else, Windows 12 is gonna require a license. Recently, some rumors have popped up that Microsoft will be making Windows 12 a subscription-based operating system. However, these rumors have been rendered false. Microsoft will not be making Windows 12 a subscription-based service. However, I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft later on down the road does choose to make Windows a subscription-based service, similar to what Adobe did with their Photoshop 
laptop and other services. The day that happens, I will be throwing out my PC and I will be switching to Mac. Now that we know what to expect from Windows 12, the ultimate question now is what to do if you're still running Windows 10. As I stated previously, there are two options. The first option is to upgrade to Windows 11 and stay on that for a while, or the second option would be to wait for Windows 12 to be released and then upgrade. Looking at the two options, the best option would be to upgrade to Windows 11 now. And there are several reasons for this. The most obvious reason being that when new OSs are typically released, they oftentimes come with various bugs and glitches that have to be worked out over time through various software updates. Now that Windows 11 has been out for two years now, Microsoft has had plenty of time to iron out all the kinks in the OS. That being said, I myself upgraded to Windows 11 the day it was released, and I really haven't had any big problems with the operating system. That being said though, I mostly use my PC for gaming and YouTube videos. I don't use it the same way businesses and healthcare centers do. As for system requirements, Windows 12s will most likely be higher than even Windows 11s. If you're not ready to upgrade your computer due to hardware limitations, then upgrade to Windows 11. If you can't upgrade to Windows 11, then it's probably time to get new hardware. Finally, if you're the type of person who isn't interested in fancy new features, then the Windows 11 experience is not all that different from Windows 10, with a few minor adjustments. If needed, I can make a video covering that later on. All in all, the best option for Windows 10 users is to upgrade to Windows 11 now. Whilst you could wait a few months for Windows 12, there is a lot of uncertainty in regards to whether or not you will actually be able to upgrade. Therefore, Windows 11 is probably the safest bet. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video to any friends and family who still use Windows 10. Now that I've submitted all my college apps, I'll have a little bit more free time now to start making videos again. So expect a new video a few weeks from now. Bye!